Alice at Home and today we're going to talk about something that was a marketing phenomena many years ago. The Copper Moscow Mule was a mug that became synonymous with a drink. Much like a martini glass has a specific drink or the drink has the glass. I'm not really sure which way that goes. The Copper Mug became known as the Moscow Mule and it was a bit of a marketing strategy. This guy, John Martin, who was best known for introducing A1 steak sauce to the U.S. market back in the 1930s, bought a vodka distilling factory that was struggling. All of a sudden he had lots of vodka, no way to market it because in the States vodka was not a known drink, it was a Russian drink. So he came up with a drink after sitting around in one of his bars one night and um, he added ginger beer, a dash of lime, and served it in a copper mug with a little sprig of mint and it became known as the Moscow Mule. It introduced the Smirnoff brand of vodka to the market and it took off. And if you look back and you see any marketing pictures from the 1930s, they're all very debonair and suave and they have their Moscow Mules or their martinis. So, but the mug itself is interesting. Why would you drink from a copper mug? A couple of things. Copper is a, a very good conductor, so when you chill this mug, fill it with ice, it instantly cools the mug. Now you put your icy drink in it and you've kind of doubled your ice. The mug is going to stay cool longer. It's also shiny, so if it's sitting outside, it's going to reflect some of the light away from it and keep your drink cooler. Plus, there is something about uh, a little bit of an oxidization that happens when you add alcohol or the ginger beer to the copper that actually can increase a little bit of the effervescence which gives you a little bit more flavor. So much like you would drink a martini from a martini glass, if you are into the Moscow Mule, you're going to need a copper mug. If you just want a great mug for all kinds of purposes, the copper mug will fit the bill as well. Mm -hmm.